Eight and a half million deaths. I was too young to understand that people don't know what they don't want to know. I was hearing and reading of the horrors of Nazi Germany's concentration camps, the sufferings of the Jews, and the German people did not know it was happening. I wondered how they could not know. But who would tell them? No one. They could not visit prisons or concentration camps, just as you and I cannot, now. Authorities, I saw, could hide whatever they wanted from the people, as they can now in any and every country. So I knew I wanted a free press but not a biased one. I saw how news could be manipulated. Where would I find truth? Nowhere. Whoever told or controlled the news controlled what we were allowed to know. All truth might be partial. Now we all can know the horrors of Nazi fascism, Soviet Russia communism, and the cruel regimes in so many countries in our lifetime. When shall we cease to find cruelty in the Middle East, Africa, the Far East? And here in Britain? Since 1967 we have legally killed more than 8.5 million children in the womb by abortion. The figures are public knowledge and proclaimed for different reasons, most obviously as a crime against humanity and as a sign of women's liberation. Whom do you believe? David Alton, there is no more ardent defender of the child in the womb than he, tells us of the latest attempt, publicly stated and defended, to allow abortion for any reason at any stage in the life of the child in the womb, no child admitted to be human and safe until after birth. This is no hidden agenda. It is public policy of the PUS, British Pregnancy Advisory Service. We cannot pretend we don't know. We can admit being not interested but not that we don't know. Concentration camps were hidden, abortion clinics advertise their services. Right to Life is asking for our support, it is one of the three pro-life charities, Spuck and Life are the other two. Abortion has become a normal part of our civilized society because we have allowed it to become so. Who will cry for the babies in the womb? God bless them, Fr. John 2nd of April 2017, related link, Fr. John's Parish Newsletters. <laughs>